Hello and thanks for tuning in. I'm Tracy and this is The Way I See It. Today I have a pretty fun video for you. I was invited by America, the Sassy Mom 82, uh, to be a part of a fun collab that she put together with some wonderful ladies that you probably know and love, but if not, today's your day to check them out as well. So um, I'm going to get into my video in just a moment, but I would encourage you to take some time and to look through all of the videos that are participating in this collab. I will stick a link down into the detail box so that you can click on their channels and see what they are talking about. So what is this? We have created this challenge to have an entire day of nothing but zero smart points foods. We were given a window of up to five smart points just in case we want like some cream in our coffee or you know if we want to cook with oil or something like that. So didn't want to go crazy. Um, I am excited to say that I have a entirely completely zero point day. Now, I must say that this is not something that's endorsed by Weight Watchers, and I definitely do not endorse eating only zero smart points foods, um, not for a day, not for any length of time, but I did think it was fun to be able to create this day and to know that we can have really healthy, flavorful, awesome, fun foods without using a single smart point. So there's no excuse, we can, we can eat well and not blow our smart points limits. So let's go ahead and get into this day. But let's see what's going on with my day I've created. I know the first thing to come to mind when you think of an entire day of eating only zero points is eggs, right? <laughs> I thought like you as well. And my day does include a lot of eggs in things. However, it is not just eating eggs. So. Stay tuned and watch and see how we can do a zero point day without eating just eggs. Most of my days begin bright and early and right now I am on the Teamy 30 day detox program. And so this is my Teamy Skinny Tea. There are zero smart points in this tea and I usually simply add one Splenda to it or either a drop or two of Stevia to sweeten it. So that starts my day with zero smart points. When I am not on the Teamy Detox program, my normal cup of coffee is a Timothy's Decaf Colombian, which I absolutely love. It's the K-Cup pod, and I add the original Coffee Mate Creamer, which for two tablespoons is zero smart points. Anything over that becomes smart points, but I only use under the two tablespoons, and I add two packs of Splenda to that as well. So we are still at zero smart points. For breakfast, I had this two egg omelet. Simply omit the cheese if you're doing zero smart points for the day. And I paired this with one delicata squash. Can you believe it? I actually found one last lone delicata squash at the back of the vegetable bin, which made me super excited. And then these are Brussels sprouts that I halved and I just simply sprinkled over some balsamic vine vinegar and roasted those, and it made for a delicious and very filling breakfast. So this is another delicious option that I absolutely love. I have a cook with me video on it under my files for zero smart point recipes. It is the egg scramble, and it is absolutely delicious. I started with a bed of rice cauliflower, and then I added some leftover rotisserie chicken from the night before. I scrambled uh, two eggs and put them on top with some black beans. And then I hit this with a little bit of liquid aminos. So I had a little bit of that Asian flavor to it and it was absolutely delicious. So this snack idea was absolutely delicious, you guys. This is a chocolate brownie batter hummus and a bunch of people on the internet have been doing this, but I decided to try to make it zero smart points. I actually think I saw a video from Cherie over at Motivated Muffins as well, and she has a great one out there. And I also have the recipe on my Instagram page. I'll try to find that link and put it on here for you. But two tablespoons of this dip is zero smart points. So that along with these apples was divine. Thank you.
And then for lunch, your salad. You guys knew it was coming, didn't you? <laughs> this is your basic salad, but it doesn't have to taste basic. We have so many options on the 200 zero point foods list. So on this salad, I have onions. I have, of course, your basic lettuce leaves. Um, black beans, bell pepper, tomato. You can do corn um, and just pile it high with your favorite proteins, whether that be more beans or whether that be um, chicken breast or fish even, and get you know excited and, un and unique with it and have fun with it. Salad doesn't have to be boring. And then, okay, you say, so how do I make this salad zero smart points? It's the dressing that kills us, right? Absolutely. So there is a fantastic recipe out there right now for a zero point ranch dressing that you make with the Hidden Valley Ranch packets and with the non-fat Greek yogurt. So I have not done a cook with me with that, but just Google it, they're everywhere. For an afternoon snack, here comes that fruit. I'm sure that you have and I have most days. I love strawberries, I love oranges. I love it all really. And you can always pair it with a little bit of yogurt if you'd like, but for right now, I'm just gonna do it straight up fruit style. For dinner, you guys, I learned something that I did not know. Did you know, I don't know if it's like this at every grocer that has a meat department, but Publix, which we have down here in Florida, you can go to the meat department and pick out, or seafood department, and pick out your seafood and have them season it and they will steam it on site for you for free. So that's exactly what I did. I got a pound and a half, I believe, of shrimp I was sharing with my love and we had it seasoned up and I think they had Old Bay seasoning and lemon pepper, garlic, and so I would say my only recommendation would be to tell them to hit it a little heavy, at least with my guy, because he went a little light and I would have liked a little bit more seasoning. But it was fantastic. So you can just grab a big batch of seasoning and there wasn't any oil or anything like that on there because it was steamed just with seasoning. So great little tip. Hope you might try it out and enjoy. And just in case you need a little something to go along with your seafood, I have a cook with me on the Zero Smart Point Devil Tuna Poppers. Only one of them is zero smart points. You can do the entire plate for five smart points, but hey, this is a zero smart points video. All right, and to round out the night, the evening snack. I love this little fancy, or at least the glass is fancy. Um, this little dish is just simply non-fat Greek yogurt, and it has to be plain, of course. It's one quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, and I put in it a teaspoon, I believe, of vanilla sugar-free pudding, and then I hit it with a splash of unsweetened almond milk because I just don't like the consistency that the non-fat Greek yogurt and the pudding have if you don't thin it out a little bit. And then I add a little bit of stevia to sweeten, and then here is the cool thing. You see those little chips on the top? Those are lilies, unsweetened. Actually, they're sweetened with stevia. They're lilies, dark chocolate, sweetened with stevia pieces. If you have not heard about those little gems, um, you need to get thee to your closest Whole Foods or nutrition shop where you can find good healthy things for you because these are golden. You can have 13 of these for zero smart points. And then you can have like up to, I think it's 60 or something like that for one smart point. But hey, this is a zero smart points day. <laughs> Find those little eight stock chocolate pieces. You will not regret it. All right, so that's my day. Did you see some foods that you eat all the time and love? Aren't you loving really enjoying this zero part, this zero points food list that we have with so many great things? I didn't even begin to touch on them. But anyway, so how about those Lily's dark chocolate pieces? Is that a win or what? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you get out of here. If you have enjoyed this video and the way I see it, then please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe. I love having you around and I hope to see you soon.